Hi there all Cancerians, Cancerian Ascendants, Sun or Moon sign viewers. Welcome, it's Core from Core Astrology and today I'll be chatting with you about the full moon in Virgo on the 9th of March. So this is happening for you in an area of your life related to thinking and thoughts, communications, social media, writing emails, writing letters, SMSing, WhatsApping, any forms of communication, thinking of thought, thoughts, um, as well as your siblings, neighbors also, and co-workers fall into this area of life. So Virgo is a very practical sign that likes to have details in order and know how to practically implement these thoughts and writing and communication, com communicating, etc. So this also involves laptops and anything that allows you to write and communicate and also to teach. Um, and challenging this desire to be practical and have knowledge about how to communicate for you on this full moon is the sun in an area in your chart that relates to belief systems, to philosophies, to matters related to foreign and overseas, to um, the law as well. And the sun on this full moon is conjunct the planet of Neptune at the time of the full moon. And Neptune amplifies this Pisces experience that you might be having since the sun went into Pisces in this area of your life around the 19th of February and it stays there until the 20th of March which is focusing matters related to travel and overseas and even higher studies like at university for you and with it being conjunct Neptune which is just a degree away from the sun on the day of the full moon it is giving you this opportunity to evolve along these lines of matters related to overseas foreign philosophies, religions, etc. Also counselors, people who advise you. There is a need to be very visionary and almost imagine what would be the most perfect university that you want to study at, who's the most perfect counselor that could help you, or is the most perfect foreign language that you would like to learn, or the foreign country that you want to travel to. It's all about imagination, fantasy, um, magic, mysticism, faith, um, God, divinity. What is the most divine aspect of your expression in these matters? And it's also important to note here that Albert Einstein always had said that imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited. Whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress and giving birth to evolution. And you are currently being offered this opportunity to look at how you think and express and communicate. Are you sharing plain knowledge? Is that what you're hunting down in terms of how you express or relations that you have with, with siblings or neighbors? Or can you step up the mark and evolve your way of thinking and communicating to something more visionary and more, more imaginative in the realms of belief systems and spirituality, which is really what this full moon is calling for? for all of you dear Cancerians. What is important for you is that matters related to relationships are changing very fast and very big for you this year because we had the Saturn-Pluto conjunction in the area of relationships which happened in January for you, which means endings of relationships that didn't work. Relationships where you thought you had security but you don't really and you're now moving forward. And it is part of this evolving in the type of relationships that you're having or possibly in what you notice in your friends, friends' lives in their relationship, is that this area of letting go, where we have four planets, we have Saturn and Pluto and Jupiter and Mars there at the moment, as well as the south node in this area of your relationship saying letting go of these old ways and creating new relationships with new people can 
give harmony to the sense of divinity and faith and godliness in your belief systems or matters related to overseas or foreign or philosophies or counselors at this time as well as aiding you in organizing your thought processes more magically so that you can actually relate to people in a more you know this is me these are my dreams and my fantasies and my hopes versus just the actual practical knowledge about who you are which should hold you back so you're moving forward in your relationships it's a very big step for you the changes in your relationship for you this year also what is helping you along at this time is that your sense of community the groups of friends that you have your hopes and dreams and um, networking amongst many people or clubs has brought in a lot of change for you in the last six months or so as Uranus entered this, this area of your life saying that new, more innovative, more independent friends or thoughts about um, your hopes and dreams or possibly even the income that you earn is coming from something that's more innovative, more breakthrough kind of energy where there's a shake up and a change of this is the forward way to be moving and these are the kind of more innovative friends that are also going to be coming into your life to assist you on this journey of growth. Dan Locke said live your life as if all your dreams have come true and then challenge your reality to catch up. Also in the Bible under Mark eleven twenty four, 24 it says therefore I tell you Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So it's very important in terms of your belief systems, your spirituality, maybe matters related to foreign and overseas, that there is prayer around this as well to guide you in terms of how you're thinking. Dear Cancerians, I hope this video is helping you and inspiring you, motivating you. If you like it, please thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'm hoping my intentions with these videos are to um, allow you to have more self-love and self-tolerance, self-understanding, and with that, a lot of self-empowerment. That being said, if you are interested in any of the consultations or workshops that I offer, please look to the link below. I wish you well. Have the most beautiful and wonderful full moon. Much blessings. Take care. Goodbye.